Can you elaborate once more on episode two, what we're going to find out? Yeah, thanks, Peter. Good morning to you. Look, the second episode of The Night Driver deals with some very serious uh, stalking incidents that that uh, Janine um, was, was subjected to uh, in the couple of years before she disappeared. Uh, it started with uh, a number of um, menacing notes being left for her, uh, left on the windscreen of her car, uh, telephone calls to her workplace, and she was being sent uh, women's uh, black lacy underwear, the notes including um, handwritten um, scrawls such as, uh, it's not over, I want to be with you, get rid of him, um, uh, he's not good enough for you, this sort of thing. And um, she didn't know who was doing it. She went to the police about it. She was deeply uh, distressed over uh, the underlying messages, um, not knowing who was behind it. She saw her doctor who who noted in, in her file the uh, acute anxiety that Janine was suffering. And then um, uh, she disappeared uh, when she got into that red car. And, of course, uh, uh, I think many people have often wondered, people close to her who knew about the stalking have wondered whether the events were connected, whether she was being stalked for a long time before she disappeared. Headley, just after the first episode, what sort of responses... Has there been any developments um, following that? Or what's the response been so far that you can talk about? Look, I can um, definitely uh, disclose that there's been some very encouraging um, contacts made uh, but from people who I hadn't heard of before who have listened and, and are now wanting to share some information... And, and I'm looking into that information, Peter. Yeah. It's going to take some time, but uh, I think it's um, certainly encouraging and yeah. is in the form of, of, of leads that that uh, go directly to the circumstances surrounding Janine's disappearance and uh, could open up a lot more. Well, well I, I, just on that, I was just going to ask how you feel about how encouraged you are already that that might be happening. Yeah, look, I think that's the um, the, the potential... Uh, influence that these kinds of um, unfolding podcast uh, investigations that are actually happening almost in um, in real time as people are listening uh, that that's the kind of impact that they can sometimes have uh, where people who have been quiet for a long time are listening and uh, thinking now's the time they want to get something off their chest and they do and uh, uh, I welcome that because what what we can do is is um, uh, once we've inquired into and verified the information, it's always possible for us to to um, put it into a following episode, yeah. an upcoming episode, and that then encourages other people and can really develop momentum and people can think, rather than this being a sort of fairly stale, completed series, it's organic and they, they, they can actually get or see a, a result yeah. as it's happening. Well, it is terrific uh, so far, Headley Thomas. Appreciate your time this morning. Uh, it's terrific as, as all the stuff that you do is. And to follow the case and download the podcast, visit www.thenightdriver.com.au or pick up your local copy of the Australian newspaper. Headley, thank you. We'll, we'll talk to you again soon.